Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good evening everyone. I'm Jonathan Jackson. Here's a look at the stories we're following for tonight. Coronavirus cases in Michigan continue to climb as the state announced today that another 390 cases were confirmed with one additional death, meaning Michigan now has more than 69,000 cases and 6,068 deaths. This comes as the Shiawassee County Health Department says an employee at the Walmart in Owasso tested positive for COVID-19. The department says the employee did wear a mask during their shift and is asking anyone who visited the store on Monday, July 6th from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. or Wednesday, July 8th from 7 to 4 p.m. to self-monitor for COVID-19 symptoms due to possible exposure. Today, the Trump administration doubled down on their threat to withhold funds from schools if they don't reopen by the fall over fears of exposing children to, and teachers to COVID-19. This morning, Secretary of Education Betsy DeVos reiterated that warning. Doesn't it make more sense to increase funding for schools that where it's unsafe rather than cut off funding? Look, American investment in education is a promise to students and their families. If schools aren't going to reopen and not fulfill that promise, they shouldn't get the funds. This comes as the CDC issued new guidelines for schools to reopen. Guidelines that President Trump calls too tough and too expensive. Meanwhile, experts say there's evidence showing that kids have a much lower risk of serious illness if contracting COVID-19. But what isn't clear is how efficiently kids spread the virus. An investigation is underway tonight after a mid-Michigan man was killed in a motorcycle crash. The incident happened in Oxford Township yesterday morning. The Oakland County Sheriff's Office says the 38-year-old man from Davison was traveling west on State Street when the rear wheel of his motorcycle locked up, ejecting him from the bike. The man was pronounced dead at a hospital in Pontiac, and deputies say he was not wearing a helmet. They also believe alcohol and drug use may have been a factor in the crash. All right, here's a look at your WNEN TV5 weather update. Looks like we're going to be staying comfortable for tonight and partly cloudy as we go into the beginning of your Monday morning. Temperatures will be down into the upper 50s. Winds out of the north at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Forecast for tomorrow will have temperatures back into the lower 80s, partly to mostly sunny. Winds will be generally northeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's a look at the numbers across the board into tomorrow. Upper 70s, lower 80s. That's going to be a pretty good range for us as we begin out the beginning of your week and here's a look at the seven-day forecast heat does return and by the time we do get into midweek we're talking upper 80s and then even the 90s into next weekend best chances for some showers and thunderstorms will come wednesday thursday another small chance into the weekend in the first four and five weather center i'm meteorologist john gross on air and online 24 7 for the latest news weather and information